Welcome to California on Earth. I'm back in Trinity County once again today, and we're at Loudon Ranch here on Lewiston Road, and we're also right next to the Trinity River. So we're gonna go check out the ranch and what remains on the ranch. So come join me. Welcome to Loudon Ranch. Off in the distance there, you will see the dairy barn from the 1930s. We'll be heading out that direction here shortly. But first, I want to take a look here at the parking lot. There's a couple of plaques that I want to go read to you guys. And real quick, I do want to thank Jeremy Tuggle because you will notice in the video, some of the videos will be a little bit different from each other. And that is because my phone that I record video with overheated on me on this day and so Jeremy was kind enough to let me use his GoPro to film part of this video so you'll notice that the videos kind of don't match up a little bit there and that's the reason why so thank you Jeremy Tuggle and I also want to thank Jeremy for turning me on to Loudon Ranch as well he is the one that found the place while he was geocaching in the area so thank you Jeremy so let's go check out these plaques and I will read those to you and give you a little bit of history on Loudon Ranch as we are walking around. These plaques are very well researched. Historical landmark of Loudon Ranch. The Loudon family settled here in 1851. William S. Loudon formed the Weaverville and Shasta Wagon Road Company in 1857. This company built the toll road Weaver and Shasta Turnpike Road, which went through this property. This was a great improvement for the Trinity area. The Loudon Ranch produced orchard and truck crops and livestock for the early Trinity County residents. A milk barn, mining, and irrigation ditches, and remains of the Loudon Toll Road and Bridge are identifiable historic features on this property. Do not disturb the landmarks. Now, William Loudon was not just a carpenter. He was also a farmer, a land surveyor, a land attorney, a rancher. Also a express rider and road builder as well. Now this is the plaque I was speaking of. This is very well written. Loudon Ranch. William Spencer Loudon established his ranch in 1851 and constructed a bridge costing $7,000 over the Trinity River upstream from Grass Valley Creek in 1855. In 1858, he completed the Weaverville and Shasta Wagon Road at a cost of $25,000, a distance of 24.5 miles from the Tower House to his bridge. He built a large stage stop and hotel on the very productive ranch. Six children were born here to William and his wife Helen. One bridge pier is all that is left of Loudon's Bridge. William Loudon moved from the ranch to Weaverville in 1872, building a home and office on Mill Street. Loudon surveyed the Weaverville Township in 1876 and the Junction City Township in 1896. Loudon had varied business interests, including mining. Loudon died at the age of 82 in 1912. The Loudon Ranch was sold to James Adrian and his family of 14 children in 1919. The huge house burned down in 1926, which was replaced by a large log cabin, which also burned in 1940. All that remains of the Adrian Dairy is the milk barn built in the 1930s. W.S. Loudon played a huge role in Trinity County history. Decade October 6, 2012 by the Mount Bali Parlor number 87 of the Native Sons of the Golden West with the cooperation of California Government of Water Resources. Most of the information that I would tell you would be on this plaque right here. The only thing missing is the property uh, acreage. I already told you 160 acres and expanded to 640 acres when his parents and his siblings came over and moved to the area.
All right, here's the entrance of the trail. We're going to go on down, see what we can find. Ah, uh, look at that. Look how it opens up. That's beautiful. Wow, spectacular. I can see why you purchased this place. As we're walking through this tall grass over to the milk barn to go check that out, let's talk a little bit more about William Loudon. William Spencer Loudon, born on June 27, 1830 in Windsor, Massachusetts, embarked on a transformative journey that led him to become a prominent figure in Trinity County history. His family relocated to Mount Sterling, Illinois, where he received his education and honed his skills as a carpenter. In 1849, William's path led him to Sacramento, and in 1850, he ventured north to Trinity County. It was in 1851 that he acquired 160 acres of land along the Trinity River near Lewiston, a plot that would evolve into the renowned Loudon Ranch. As his parents and siblings joined him in the area later on, the ranch expanded to an impressive 640 acres over time. On October 22, 1856, William Loudon married Helen Emily Trask, and their union blessed them with six children. Loudon's endeavors expanded far beyond the role of a husband and father, who was a multifunctional individual engaging in various pursuits, including serving as an express writer, constructing roads, surveying land, and practicing as a land attorney. His official roles included that of United States Deputy and Trinity. County Surveyor. By 1858, the Loudon Ranch had blossomed into an agricultural marvel, and the Loudon family's enterprise expanded into not only farming and ranching, but into the realms of mining and logging as well. As we read on the plaque in the beginning, the large Loudon house burned down on November 1st, 1925, and a large log cabin took its place, but sadly, that also burned down, leaving only the milk barn that we see today. I do not know exactly where either the house or the log cabin sat here on the property. Well, I am with Jeremy Tuggle today. Hi guys. We're using Jeremy's GoPro because my phone is overheated. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel, Jeremy Tuggle. I'm the host of Exploring Shasta County History. And you heard it here, right here on California and Earth. In collaboration with Exploring Shasta County History. In beautiful Trinity County at the historic Clown Ranch. And it is beautiful. Yeah, it is. So there's no residents here on the property. Only the dairy barn. So I'm and assuming this is the dairy barn. It looks like it. And we are out here with my friend Latoya Williams. I'd be her struggling along there. <laughs> These stickers in this field is no joke. I can feel them uh, poking through my shoes as we speak. Yeah, that's what got me over there.
So here's our entrance. And yes, we will be going inside this abandoned structure on BLM land. Doors still work. Just swaying in the wind. Nice little creaking sound there. So let's go see what the Loudon farm tenants are up to. There's two of them now. Oh, it's your host, California Unearthed, Robert Frazier. And our buddy, Latoya. 
Now this is a good point. This is a good time, once Jeremy gets out here. This is a good time to tell everybody, on this acreage, in 1858, it is recorded that they had 3,555 fruit trees as an orchard, over 300,000 potatoes, and acres of vegetable gardens all throughout here. Along with cattle, is cattle ranch as well. So this area was definitely producing a lot of food for the members and residents of Trinity County. There you go. You heard him from the ranch hand himself. I could definitely live out here, that's for sure. It's very cool. Yeah, it is. Let's go check out the rest of it over here. See, here I am exploring Shasta County history, but in the midst of Robert chasing Trinity County history. Well, Check Jer out my channel. Jeremy's unearthing with me. There we go. All right, so this looks like this was the corral for the family and for visitors because they did have a hotel here on property that was also their home as well and so i'm sure visitors had to have a place to put their horses and i don't know exactly where the hotel slash house sat on the property Unfortunately, I wasn't able to pull up any old historic maps on my phone here on site. But when I got home, I pulled up the old 1894 topo map and realized that the hotel slash house sat right across the toll road from where we are standing at right now. So if you look beyond the road on the other side, in that vicinity is where the old hotel slash house once sat. I can't pinpoint the exact location, but I do know that it was right across the street right here somewhere. And here is the old 1894 map that I was just talking about. And you can see where the hotel once sat right there. And we're on the other side of the property from where we were just at. And I might make a mention that all, a lot of this is all round nail material. There are no square nails whatsoever. But that's not to say there's no square nails on this property. I'm sure there are somewhere. Right? So in 1877, William Loudon turned over the day-to-day -day operations to his brother, Eugene Loudon. And Eugene ran the ranch until his death in 1904. And then uh, they kind of split up the property amongst the family members. Some sold off their parcels, others didn't. But that 640 acres got sold off piece by piece. And like I said, I don't know how many acres is here exactly, but if anybody does know, throw in the comments down below. And then this, I believe, is the old road that William built. So if this road leads to the river and to the bridge embutment, that's exactly what this is. 
William Loudon founded the Weaverville and Shasta Wagon Road Company, responsible for constructing the very first wagon road in the Trinity County, a monumental achievement completed in 1858. Additionally, he owned the Lewiston Turnpike Company, further cementing his legacy as a key figure in the region's development and growth. In 1854, William Loudon undertook the significant endeavor of constructing a bridge over the Trinity River at Loudon Ranch. This bridge served as a critical link connecting existing trails in the region. Initially, it primarily facilitated the passage of pack trains until Loudon's ambitious road project from Weaverville to Tower House was finalized in March of 1858. Meanwhile, in the autumn of 1857, the Loudon Road spanning from Lewiston through Rush Creek to Weaverville was successfully completed. Concurrently, expansion efforts were underway extending this road to Douglas City. The road from Lewiston to Powerhouse, commonly known as the Turnpike, wouldn't be fully finished until May of 1866. However, the course of history took an unexpected turn in March of 1867 when floods wreaked havoc on sections of the road along Grass Valley Creek. Consequently, all road traffic began gravitating towards the new road. In 1874, a pivotal moment arrived with the establishment of a post office at Loudon Ranch. Concurrently, the stage contractors decided to reroute the stagecoach route to go through Buckhorn and Grass Valley Road, creating a side route from Loudon's to Lewiston. This ultimately didn't sit well with the Lewiston community, and their protest eventually led to the stages rerouting to the Turnpike Road. Also, a road connecting Lewiston to Deadwood was in the works, with its completion achieved quickly. However, it wouldn't be until 1883 that that road would go on from Deadwood to French Gulch. Stages from Reading began to transverse through French Gulch, Deadwood, Lewiston, and the Rush Creek Road to re- each Weaverville, further enhancing the region's connectivity to the communities in the east. So after looking around, we are right next to the Trinity River here. It looks like this is where the bridge was. Supposedly there's supposed to be a bridge abutment, but I don't see anything. I don't know exactly for sure or not, but if you look on the other side, the road looks like it does continue over there. So this could possibly be where this bridge used to be. I misspoke right there. We're not looking for a bridge abutment. We're looking for a bridge pier. Well, we were wrong. This section of the Trinity River I'm standing next to is not where the bridge was at, and so we're not going to find the bridge pier that we're looking for here. We went too far upstream. So how I found that out was once we got back to the house and I was able to pull up the old historic maps from 1894, I can see where the road used to go and where the bridge crossed the river, and I matched that up to today's Google Maps, the aerial view, and realized we were way off. So here's the old 1894 historical topo map you can see where the toll road crosses the river and it's pretty close to grass valley creek and here is the aerial view of google earth this is where we're at here where i shot the video along the river and here's where the remaining bridge pier is located right here and you can see that that road veers off to the left Here's the footage of us walking from the corral down Toll Road, and you can see that road veering off just to the left there. That's the road that we should have taken. That's the continuation of Toll Road that would have taken us to the remaining bridge pier in the Trinity River, but instead we went straight ahead. I apologize so much for us being in the wrong spot. I'd prefer that we found that bridge pier. That would have been so much cooler. Maybe I'll come back and just shoot the bridge pier at some point and just kind of do a short video. Up here at the Weaverville Cemetery, pay my respects to William, his wife Helen, his daughter Mary, over here. And they have a bunch of other family members buried here as well. So we're just here paying our respects to the Loudon family. And uh, yeah, it's pretty incredible that these guys were as influential as they were here in Trinity County. Just amazing.
All right, we were just looking around for some more and we found Henry. This is William's son. William's just right over here. And as I was saying earlier, William was the United States surveyor and Trinity County surveyor. And when he passed away, his son took over. So surveying runs in the family. Even to this day, there's a gentleman by the name of Greg who is in the surveying business here in Weaverville. So surveying has run in the family since the 1850s. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of California Unearthed. I want to thank Jeremy for all the help on this episode. I had a few malfunctions with my phone and a few other things. So I want to thank him for helping me out on this and uh, filming as well. So if you like this video, smash the like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I'm going to go swimming. All right. And our friend LaToya, thank you for joining us. All right, folks, we'll catch you on the next episode. You Hit that subscribe. Huh? You got a floaty? Uh, no. Uh. Hit that subscribe button. Like California on Earth. Like Exploring Shasta County History. My YouTube channel is Jeremy Tuggle. See you on the next episode.